several witnesses that came upon this violence that was being perpetuated by her oh angel sweet Trayvon but let's go <laughs> I told you Deborah Nelson is in on it I told you that <laughs> he does not want anybody to recognize the obvious He's going to fight with all of his body, all his might to, sh to prove that his bullcrap, lack of reasoning, has something to do with it. You certainly had to hope that that was your son screaming even before you heard it, correct? I didn't hope for anything. I just simply listened to the tape. I didn't hope for anything. I just simply listened to the tape. Well, since your ex-husband, Tracy Martin, had already admitted to a law enforcement officer that it was not the voice of his son screaming in the 911 tape, you had to hope for something to come all the way from Sanford when you didn't come to offer your support to Tracy over the death of your son. You had to be hoping that there was something in it that, that, that was going to benefit you. That could allow you to make millions of dollars off of this. <laughs> she wants us to believe that she was not hoping that it was her son screaming. She hoped that it was George Zimmerman screaming so they would make her look like a liar who was already had already come out in the news and said that they, they needed an arrest and they were just, you know, wondering why nothing had happened. <sighs> they want us to be dunce, but let's go. I really didn't know what the tape was all about. I really didn't know what the tape was all about. Tracy tells you. I went down to the station and listened to a tape that Sereno played for me. Out of the fact that I'm the father to see if I can identify the voice screaming. Tracy relayed to you, to Natalie, Natalie related to Crump, Crump related to you, that that's not Trayvon on the tape screaming. For you to tell us that you did not know what the tape was all about, do you know how stupid you have to be to believe that this woman did not know why she was traveling from Sanford, from Miami to Sanford, Florida to meet with the mayor. She didn't know anything about any screams on any tape. She didn't know. She went in with an open mind. She didn't know what she was going to hear. People, if you're following this liar, cut it out. Stop it. Take those hoodies off. Give back that dog on unhealthy Skittles. Stop drinking that dog on full of MSG and all the other kind of crap. Aspartame is probably in that freaking uh, tea. Put all that foolishness down. If that lie right there doesn't make you say, hold up. Er, she's trying to tell us that she didn't know why she was going to meet and why she was stirring up all this crap or why she filed a lawsuit to release the 911 tapes and she didn't know what to expect. Man, come on. This is moronic. This is be this is below an eighth grade mentality for somebody to believe it. And she's already told you about her her degrees. She's already shown you. She's already flubbed on that already, which I can't wait for them to hit her in the head over that. <sighs> Of course you were the first one. 
You were putting on a show for the mayor. You had that in your heart that you were going to set out to tell a lie. That's what I cannot respect about you. I cannot respect a person who sets out to tell a lie. They get up in the morning and they say, hey, I'm headed to Sanford from Miami and I'm going to tell a lie. I'm planning it. I got it already. <laughs> it's on my agenda. I'm going to be disingenuous. People, we cannot side with liars anymore. We have got to recognize the truth. Let's go. And everybody else then reacted similarly to you, correct? Well, they also heard the tape themselves. Correct. Well, hold on. She didn't want to answer the question. And they also heard the tape themselves. Mark is leading her down the path, and she knows that she's being led down the path. But she's attempting to subtract from what he's saying by saying, yeah, and they heard the tape themselves. So, they, you know, they started getting emotional, too. No, they were being fooled by you. Hold up. She doesn't want to implicate them. She doesn't want to implicate them so that they'll get on the stand and contradict what she's saying. Because we got two people, two people that she doesn't really want to testify and say that it was not the voice of Trayvon Martin. There were two individuals there. You will see who those two individuals are in the next week. So this is why she says this comment here. I didn't tell them anything. Boldface lie. Boldface lie. You cannot respect a boldface liar like this. Mayor Triplett never said anything like that to you? No. Another lie. <sighs> Let's go. Nor did any of your other family members? They hadn't heard the tape at that time. But See? Family members is... Tracy, he's a family member. He's the father of your son. He is a family member, like it or not. <laughs> the child makes you family. Did you not know that? Or you thought you was just being so smart by saying that, no, you didn't know anything. You went into it blindly. It's just exposing lies. Liar. Let's go. Another lie. She's denying any knowledge of anything. She's saying that all of a sudden, she just decided to get in her vehicle, go on the road, drive to Sanford. Just so happens, Ben Crump is there. He has the same thought. Let me go to Sanford. Natalie Jackson has the same thought. Let me go to Sanford and let me meet up at the mayor's office at the same time that Sabrina Fulton meets up at the, the mayor's office. Yeah. And nobody has any idea of what they're about to listen to. Nobody has the foggiest idea of what they're going to do. This is what she wants you to believe. She wants you to be that stupid. Let's go. Cool. No. 
Tracy Martin, you ever told me nothing? No. He knows that she's lying. He did the honorable thing. But because of his association with those other Freemasons and their agenda that they have going on, which is to start race riots so that they can move in the 15,000 Russian soldiers and create martial law and shut everything down and take away all of your freedoms. Because he's linked to them, he's looking at her lying. He knows that he called her and gave her the information. He knows this. But most people are too afraid to call them out on their bull. They'd rather slit their own throat than to call them a liar. That's the blind devotion, people. It's foolish. And it's very dangerous. She only listened to it one time. But her son, Javaris, says that she that he listened to it about eight to ten times. But the mother? The one who cares so much about him? Only listened to it one time? I cannot make this stuff up, people. No tears. No emotion. She knows that she's lying. It's despicable. Let him, let him look at him. He has to look up and think, oh, what am I going to talk about? How do I distract the people from the fact that this woman just told about five or six lies? Dang it. You were asked about uh, hope. Did you hope your son wouldn't be dead, Trayvon Martin? This is the most ignorant question that Bernie could have asked her. She's going to meet with the mayor to hear the screams of George Zimmerman after she has been made aware of the fact that her son is dead. This stupid guy says... Were you hoping that you that your son had not died? Were you hoping that he was still alive? <sighs> when he said that, it just took the cake for me. It let me know just how stupid he was. He's probably an idolater. Idolaters are dumb. As she is, she's probably an idolater too. <sighs> Let's go. You're still hoping that he would still be alive. How stupid. Okay, somebody already knows. Tracy has already communicated this to her. She's the mother. She's able to call the medical examiner. They've already given her the, you know, the specifics, okay? She already knows for a fact her son is dead. 